Welcome back to Sports Edge in our new digs over here. We kind of like them here. I know, nice yeah. chairs. Burn the other side. <laughs> no, burn but you know what? it. I mean, they're comfortable, but they're kind of large for women. You these do chairs. All right. <laughs> you, you, you do okay. <laughs> but thanks for having me in the man cave. This Mine's is awesome. a little snug. Yes. You're right. Yeah. All right. You, you guys, I, I love this. You are collecting all kinds of awesome and things from teams. And we want more. Send us yeah. more stuff. Yeah. From high schools you want? What, high schools, colleges, what, any sports, anything sports in the state. Let's talk about what you're doing and how you're going to decorate your man cave. He's the Martha Stewart of sports sets. No, 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 he no, got no, this no. thing going. So started on Monday, but we, Steve Kahn over at Yale sent us a football helmet behind us. So we want more football helmets, hockey sticks, pennants. I know you want pennants. Oh, well, well, we'll take it all. I've been seeking pennants for a long time. <laughs> no, no. Listen, I take it upon myself. I actually will. I'll sew together all the pennants for you guys. You can hang them. But I think you got to get the high schools involved in this. This Bring would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Send them to us. Yeah. Get helmets. You want? You want helmets? You want jerseys from high schoolers? Anything. Right. Awesome. All right, let's let's talk. Let's do a little rah rah session. What do you say about UConn basketball? I don't basketball? have my pop poms <laughs> with me. Well, well, we it's can easy do, it do. Without, without the. It really is easy to do. The only school once again with two teams going to the final four, the men's and women's teams to the final four. Fourth time, too, for one school. You know, in all other schools, I've only done it once. I mean, so you really think about it. I, I don't know if we take it for granted here just how good these basketball programs, the women every year, but the men have become so consistent, uh, too, in, in you know, the last 10 years. And, of course, we have to show this declaration from mm. the governor of the state of Connecticut. And this is all feel-good stuff for this Absolutely. state. You know, it's been a cruddy winter. We've been down. Now we've got. We've been cold. We've, we've been, been cold. Down. You know, depressed. Now you've got two sports teams. You've got two Hall of Fame coaches. I mean, Coach Calhoun has has vacated the area, but right. he's. I mean, this is a lot to get excited about in a time when it's been kind of lousy. And who doesn't love to see kids and that spirit on basketball courts for the state? That's great. And, and don't take it for granted. Someone wrote about that in the Hartford Current today. Like, hey, hey, Connecticut, stop for a second and enjoy Snowbird. this because it, we're spoiled. Enjoy it, though, because it may not happen ever again. Listen, I grew up in the state of Indiana. Really? And that, <laughs> all right. I have no idea. <laughs> you know, by, Notre Dame? What, right, by Notre Dame. And, you know, Indiana was all about basketball and basketball. And then I moved to Connecticut. Hey, listen, Connecticut, it's all about basketball. There's a big-time switch here. And my oldest daughter went to UConn, so she's all excited. She was supposed to go someplace Saturday night. She said, forget about it. She said, unless you bring TV sets. So you know what? They're bringing in television sets to I this event. To <laughs> but good for you. So you know? I didn't know what to prove. No, but I mean, that I, says something. that You're not going to go to an event on, on, on a Saturday night unless there's a TV there and so you can watch that, that, that UConn-Florida game. I think that Connecticut has had an identity problem over the years because really more than anything, the state has been the pit stop between New York and Boston, right? right. It's where you stop and get a cup of coffee or use the restroom. Now the state <laughs> has, has a true identity, which is college basketball. Get out of your car and see Connecticut. Get out of your car and see some basketball. Listen, we're going to continue this over on SportsEdge.com. We're out of time here on, on, on television. We'll be back on television with more. Push it on over to SportsEdge.com for more. But don't you think that the state has gotten some of an identity. I was reading a book about the Dallas Cowboys and the state or the city of Dallas was really it was hung up on the negative things that happened there, right? Kennedy's assassination there and it was the success of the Cowboys that gave the people of Dallas this pride in their city. All of a sudden, wow, we have this great football team. And not that we had negative things happen in the state, but right, it became more than just somewhere to stop along your way between the two big cities. It's a great rallying cry that everybody can can get behind and college kids still on the innocent side. You know, this isn't this isn't pro ball at this yeah. point. And you just you just root for them and it's just it, to see the joy on Shabazz Napier's face when they won, mm -hmm. you know, in the Elite 8 and they're going to the final four. I put it on my Facebook page. I'm like, oh, yeah. this is sheer joy. It's genuine. Yeah. And he's yeah. such a likable kid. You know, a lot of people don't get a, a chance to talk to him or, or be in contact with him, but we have all talked to him at some point. And he's just still so humble. You know, talking to them the other day when they left for Dallas, you know, some of the guys went to class after they won the Michigan State game. They're, they're getting a round of applause from professors and students, and Shabazz got that his freshman year. And he said, I just want to be known as Shabazz Napier, the student. You know, he just happens to be a pretty good basketball player, uh, an All-American, maybe the best player in the country right now, too. Now, one thing I love about the men's team, though, they haven't really skipped a beat, you know, from Jim Calhoun right on to Kevin Ollie. And with the sanctions, I mean, you thought, oh, maybe they're going to take a knock here. Not at all. The sanctions, a move to another conference, mm -hmm. which, let's face it, doesn't have that 
Same, right. same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. 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 Big, that, that they had big, even in the Big, big East, East when the right. Big East was what it was. And so people are like, oh, it's, you know, the run is over. Well, you know, you don't go anywhere after just being two years removed from a national championship. And here they are back in a Final Four. And That's a great story. We talked about the excitement throughout the state. The, the cool thing that they did this year, and maybe uh, it's kind of transcended across Dave Moore's, you had the Mohegan Sun host the American Athletic Conference Women's Tournament. Both teams played games in Bridgeport. So I think everyone around the state is really got a chance to see these teams in the eastern part of the state, in stores, and in Bridgeport, which I think everyone is kind of like, hey, I, I got the chance to see them play. I live in Fairfield. You know, they didn't have to drive the store. So maybe that's boosted people's spirits a little more. As well. Oh, I just love it. I say, I it, all, I say it. it all the time. I think it's a very provincial state, Connecticut, meaning each little province does its own little thing. You know, each little town has right. its own 169 thing of them, yes. Right? All, and, 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 and there's not so much concern from one to the next. But one thing that seems to bring the state together from mm -hmm. Every corner in the state to every other corner in the state is UConn basketball, especially the women and the men's basketball. Football maybe a little bit, but not like basketball. Yeah. And uh, look, we're seeing why, because yeah. we're seeing it flourish. And they have created an atmosphere in the state and on, on the campus and stores mm -hmm. where this can happen. And, and what, you know, you mentioned Mohegan Sun dropping that in there, down to Bridgeport again. The men and women each played a game this year. And they're, they, they're you know, steal a line from Kevin Ollie, planting the seeds all around the state. You know, there's just, you know, border to border, there's excitement. And it, and it's so much far beyond it. Their, their new contract, too, with SNY gets them into a bigger market as well. And um, it, it's fun to watch. I mean, I, I remember little articles when I was, you know, younger, what UConn did, like in the, you know, late 70s, early In the 80s. back of the paper. Yeah, they were, you know. they were just, you know, small little graph here. And then to watch this thing just build, you know, from going up there as an intern, like in 1988, 89, you know, nothing up there to see what that whole campus is built into, and it's 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 truly amazing. And now it's Husky Weekend, and there's a state proclamation. There you go. <laughs> a week from today, we could be talking about two titles. Yeah. You know, I I, I so hope that happens. Wouldn't that be cool? Because that would just be so cool. Only one school has done it before. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. And that would be uh, UConn. UConn, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Thanks for tuning in here on SportsEdge.com. Uh, have a good weekend and enjoy UConn basketball. Love the man cave.